Information Georeferencing Images In this example, we're going to show you how Wise Image Pro allows you to calibrate or rubber sheet an image. This is also commonly referred to as georeferencing images. We begin by bringing in an existing shapefile of a known grid into Wise Image. This could be a shapefile from Esri Software or a DWG file from AutoCAD. We then bring in an image, which comes in at paper scale and zoom into the image. We are now going to set a rough scale on this. And then we will select Zoom All. We will then move the image to the approximate proper spatial location. Now we can start a calibration or georeferencing process. So once the image is scaled and moved into the world where it needs to be, we're going to select Image from the menu bar and then select Calibration Utility. And let's get rid of those older points since they are not needed anymore. And we're going to pick on the Add a Point icon. And this will allow you to zoom into a location and input the real known coordinate, which is at the intersection here. And we can snap to it. And then we put in our measured point, which is going to be the scan grid in your section. And simply add that point. Wise image is going to show a from to location with a directional arrow on where the image is is going to be stretched or registered to. And then we'll zoom into another point and do the same thing. So the measured point doesn't matter which one you start with. And then our real point. Add that point. And then move on to the next one. A real point. A measured point. Double click zooms out. And our last point. You can add as many control points as you want. You can use the Wise Image Calibration Utility to georeference aerial photography as well. This could be an aerial image instead of a red vector grid that we're snapping an image to. And then we can close our Add Point dialog box. Those are our points. We can choose the calibration method, but we can let the software choose automatically. And we'll hit Apply. And our image has now been registered. If I save the image, which happens to be called csmap.tif, is going to be saved with a positional file or world file. If we look in our preferences under GIS, I've got it set to save the image as well as the world file so it can be loaded into other programs. To request a live demo or a trial version of the WISE Image software, please visit us on the web at creativemapsolutions.com.